Hi, everybody. This is our meeting. Um, and I am back with another. And for this week's training, I wanted to talk about seven ways gratitude can improve your life. Uh, bear with me, guys. I am a very fast talker and I try to be mindful of that. But sometimes when I get really excited, it just, I just start getting, you know, speaking fast and um, getting into getting excited. Um, so bear with me. I'll try to be, um, be aware of it. That's, that's something that I've been working on, talking about growth. Um, we're always working on something, right? And so right now I'm working on slowing things down so that people can really hear what I have to say, right? So um, bear with me on that. With that being said, I am here to hold the training for seven, and the title of the training is Seven Ways Gratitude Can Improve Your Life. I Gratitude to me is everything. My life literally magically started to transform when I started to incorporate gratitude for my life and for everything around me. So um, before I jump into the training, I always like to give a little background of who I am, especially because I know we're growing. I know we're getting new um, people signing up to the program. And I am so excited about that, about this, because this is such an amazing program with so much potential for growth in every area of your life. So thank you for signing up. Thank you for being here. Um, and so with that being said, my name is Armida Abru Martinez. I am a life and relationship coach and um, for Divine Growth Coaching and for Boomerang. And the reason I became a coach, it's because I am very, very passionate about helping people rise and thrive. Um, I and my mission is to help people remove, move beyond fear-based living and into love and compassion, first with themselves and then with the environment around them, with the people in the environment around them, because it always starts with you. Um, there was a time in my life when I didn't know this and I was blaming everybody else for everything that was going wrong in my going wrong in my life. And what I realized is that nothing changes until you change. So you, you have to take responsibility. And I'm saying this with so much love and so much compassion, because I know taking responsibility for our lives and where we're at and for the things that um, are not working in our lives, it's, it's hard to look in the mirror and take responsibility for those things. But when I finally did that, I stopped blaming everybody else, which only kept me in the energy of being a victim. And from a victim mindset, I wasn't trying, I wasn't being creative. I wasn't elevating my energy to come up with solutions to fix the things that went working, right? Because I was giving my power away to every, everyone else, every circumstance in my life that I perceived as being flawed, being broken, being wrong. Um, I give my power to, I give my power away to that. And so when I took responsibility for myself, then everything started to change. Things, it's like, this beautiful, magical experience. It was definitely um, challenging at times because it was almost like I was rebirthing a, a new self. It's like I had a death of the old self and I came this new, became this new person, right? And that jump from being here to being here is definitely challenging because you're rewiring old patterns, old beliefs, self-sabotaging behaviors, um, it, these um, traumas, childhood traumas that you've been carrying in your energy for years and generations that subconsciously kept holding you back and holding you holding you down and so it was an interesting journey there were many tears many fears many laughter many challenging moments but I wouldn't trade them for the world and I have learned to to love myself unconditionally and from that space like my life transformed because once I became that which I wanted everybody else to become for me. It was when I was actually, when I was trying to control everybody, I was really not controlling anybody. Um, but when I controlled my emotions, I was able to now weirdly have control of the people around me because now everybody was able to meet me at that level that I was meeting myself. Because what I realized is that people will only meet you at the level that you're willing to meet yourself and we want people to meet us at a deep level but we're not willing to do that for ourselves right and so we have to do the work within and I'm sure you guys have heard this a million times because a lot of people always say it's look within look within it's all oh, you have the answers and I think we we get it and at a superficial level but we don't really realize how powerful we are and I think in life we're really more scared 
about we, our the power that we have scares us because I know it was scary for me. I didn't realize the power that I had until um, I did all this work. But anyways, I know I went on a tangent. I just I'm very passionate about I do about what I do. I really want to ha have an impact in the world and really help elevate human consciousness, humanity, and help people thrive and move beyond the illusion of fear of lack of separation and into love and oneness and compassion. So that's why I became a coach. It's my passion. I could do this all day long and um, it's a high for me. With that being said, thank you for being here on a Friday at 4 p.m. Um, and sharing this experience with me. Um, so I don't wanna hold you too much longer. So I'm gonna go straight into the presentation. So today's um, presentation is seven ways gratitude can improve your life. Um, during that whole journey that I went through, I had to start to be, be grateful for what was in front of me. I kept seeing things that were missing and that were lacking, and I kept focusing on that. And the, the, the thing about how the universe works is that whatever you focus on expands. So if you want to see a, something change in your life, you have to change your, what you're thinking, the things that you're focusing on and create a new story and focus on that new story so that you can have that shift. It's almost like you rewiring your brain to be able to do that jump and that shift so that you can start attracting. Um, I don't like to say attracting because I believe we're always attracting things to us. It's more allowing, right? When we tune into ourselves, we can show gratitude, we can love ourselves unconditionally, then we allow those things that we held back for so long because we were so disconnected from ourselves. Gratitude, it's life-changing. I do gratitude journaling every day. And if I don't do it, I journal while I'm, you know, taking a shower out loud. I'll just say, I'm think, thank you for this. Thank you for that. And I bring awareness into my day. I just, if I'm drinking coffee, like just as I'm picking up my coffee, like, wow, thank you for this coffee. Thank you for this computer that I get to do my work. Thank you for the Zoom meeting that I'm having today. I'm able to connect with all of you through here right now. Like, how amazing is that? You guys are probably all over the world and look at the connection that we're able to have with each other, right? That's amazing if you think about it. So I bring gratitude into everything that I do. And even the things that I feel like may be challenging for me, I bring gratitude into it because I always I believe that there's always a lesson and a blessing when we when we experience anything in life. On a scale of one to five, would you give yourself a five on achieving what you want in life? If your answer is anything less than a five, right now, I have something awesome for you. Achieving your goals and living your life out of five isn't easy. Most people aren't prepared to focus, stay disciplined, and do the everyday work that is necessary to achieve amazing results. But since you're watching this, then I'm guessing that you're not one of those people. And this is an opportunity that will change your life. Give to Get is a global program that brings together world-class coaching and combines it with empowering masterminds and networking opportunities. We provide five-star guidance for the price of a cup of coffee a day. To find out more, click on the link in the description of this coaching session. So with that being said, I'll move forward with the presentation. So definition of gratitude. I always like to start with a definition. So the, the definition of um, gratitude is the quality of being thankful, readiness to show appreciation for and to return kindness. Whoever has gratitude will be given more and he or she will have an abundance. Whoever does not have gratitude, even what he or she has will be taken from him or her. Or her. Um, there's a, a quote, and I'm not sure where the quote is from, but this, I, this, I couldn't be more appropriate and more truthful. Gratitude operates through a universal law that governs your whole life. In your life, the law operates on your thoughts and feelings because they are energy too. And so whatever you think, whatever you feel, you attract to you, or what I like to say, you allow into your life. So the benefit of gratitude, number one, it's it reduces stress and anxiety. And I know we live in a time where everything fast pace, every, everything moves quickly. There's so much we have a to-do list that's probably a hundred items long just in one day. And so that can bring on a lot of stress and a, a lot of anxiety for us. So as you are probably aware, when you don't properly handle stress, your health and well-being often starts to decline. A daily practice of gratitude will drastically improve your stress levels as it would allow you to see the world around you through a more positive outlook. And this will help you become more optimistic and hopeful and therefore decrease stress and anxiety. 
And this is a great quote that I heard from Dr. Robert Holden. The miracle of gratitude is that it shifts your percep perception to such an extent that it changes the world you see. And that's so true because that's something that I've experienced. Benefit of gratitude, number two, it improves heart health. According to a 2014, a 2014 study published in the Journal of Cardiopulmonary Acute Care, the researchers found that gratitude could alleviate struggles of patients with advanced heart failure and positively influence their well-being and quality of life. And I, this has to do a lot of, again, with reducing stress and anxiety. We all know, and we've heard the people say like stress can kill you, right? It's literally true. Stress and anxiety can get your hormones, your whole body out of balance. And it creates what I, I, I it, um, acidity in your body, which then tends to, you know, affect your organs, affect your body, affect your nervous system, affect everything in your life. So stress can, and anxiety can hurt your health. And now we can see if we start in, uh, incorporating gratitude, it can improve your heart health because you're reducing stress and anxiety. Benefit of gratitude number three, improve sleep quality. And I know this is something I, I know there, I, I don't know exactly what the number is, but I know I've heard that a lot of people, especially adults, struggle with um, sleeping, it's insomnia, I believe is what it's called. And a lot of people take sleeping medications um, due to a lot of the stress and a lot of the anxiety. So a 2009 study, published in the Journal of Psychosomatic Research, found the positive correlation between gratitude and sleep. According to the researchers, not only do negative thoughts impair a good night's sleep, but positive thoughts, which grateful people often have prior to falling asleep, may actually improve sleep quality. This is something so big, right? And I know I'm guilty of this. So if you guys are doing this, don't judge yourself, have love and compassion. Sometimes when we lay down to go to sleep, we're marinating for the next day, right? And we're telling our subconscious mind those things that we want to create in our lives. And a lot of times, because we're so busy during the day, when we lay down to sleep at night, that there's that quietness, right? Before we fall asleep, we start thinking about what went wrong during the day, the things we didn't get to accomplish, the things that went wrong, the boss who yelled at us, the person who cut us off, the whatever it is that's going wrong in our lives. And then we have a really bad night's sleep because we don't get to really relax ourselves. So I always tell my clients, and this is something that I had to retrain myself to do, was to actually, when I was, when I'm laying in bed to fall asleep, I start um, expressing gratitude in my mind. Like I'm grateful for my pillow. I'm grateful for this warm bed. I'm, you know, some people don't have this. There's a lot of people who don't have a place to sleep, who don't have food, who may not have a warm home or a blanket or, you know, something that we have. So I started to retrain myself to pro reprogram my mind to focus on the things that we're grateful for. So I lay down at night and I just start um, reciting everything that I'm grateful for. And I fall asleep super quick and I sleep, I have better sleep. I'm more super relaxed. Um, but before I started did that, I actually would journal right before bed, gratitude journaling, just write down 10, 15 things that I was grateful for. Um, but I found that for me, I did that for a while and it was great. And then for me, I just do it right before I fall asleep. And I feel like it actually helps me fall asleep faster. And it keeps me, I go into deep sleep. I used to never used to say that I never used to dream. And when I started doing this, I have, I dream almost every night. And I remember my dreams, which is something I never, that never used to happen to me. And I had a client once who had been taking sleeping medications for months. And because we started working, I mean, we did, we removed some underlying, we worked through some underlying trauma and other stuff in her life, but she was able to stop taking her sleeping meds and, um, and, 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 and just by, you know, removing those trauma, work is, working and processing those traumas and incorporating gratitude into her life really helped her um, get out of that cycle, which I thought was really interesting. So benefit of gratitude number four, it enhances and heals your relationships. Gratitude is not only beneficial in romantic re relationships, but it can also enhance connection and satisfaction in friendships. 
Gratitude will help improve any difficult relationship. When we are faced with a difficult relationship or a challenging situation in a, in a relationship, in almost all cases, we are not in the least grateful for the other person. There is gold in every relationship, even the difficult ones. And to bring riches to all of your relationships in your life, you have to find the gold. And I'm guilty of this. I've said this on the program before. I'm really open about my relationships. I separate, I was married for almost 20 years. I separated from my husband about a year ago. We're still legally married, but we're not together. Um, and I know that when things were going wrong, I always, I was always focused on everything that he was doing. That was not what I wanted him to do, right? It, it was something that worked for him and I was judging him and criticizing him and not appreciating the things that he actually was doing for me. And what I realized is when, when we're struggling and it, I apply this and I've had my clients apply this to their relationships and not just intimate relationships with any relationships that you may be struggling with, go back and try to and remember what were the things that you appreciated about this person. Because sometimes we get so focused on the day-to-day -day life that we forget why we fell in love with this person or why we became friends with this person or why we connected with this person at a deep level to begin with. So sometimes we need to remind ourselves and gratitude will help you do just that to really bring you back to that space where you're like, wow, I, you know, I, I appreciate X, Y, and Z. What I did in my relationship when I was healing and shifting the dynamic, I sat down and just thought that from way from the beginning, like everything that I loved about this person you know, everything they did. And I started focusing on that. And the crazy thing is because we're energetic beings and the energy that we put out is the energy that we get back because my perception of him changed. He literally started to change. And that happens to all of your relationships. If you can bring that, it would elevate you. And therefore the other person that you're in, you're in connection with if you can elevate yourself and stay in that elevated place and hold that gratitude and that unconditional love for that person, they're no longer going to be able to connect with you at this level. So they're going to have to rise to be able to meet you at a higher level and keep that connection going. So it's beautiful. Try it out and you'll see how beautiful it is to do this. And it's such a beautiful place to do this because it's so genuine and authentic when you can do this from a place of authenticity, right? So, and then benefit of gratitude number five, it makes us feel happier. When we are grateful for what we have, we feel more positive about our lives. And when we feel more positive about our lives, we feel happy. This is another quote by uh, Jeremiah Say, what's different? It's not happiness that brings us gratitude. It's gratitude that brings us happiness. Ooh, I just got chills. Every time I read this quote, it really hits home for me because when you find things to be grateful for, your life, you just, your energy changes and you start to attract and see the world differently. And life really does become magical. And the more, and the funny thing is that the more gratitude that you show and the more appreciative you are of someone, of something, of everything in your life, the more um, experiences you have to be grateful for. So this is really good because I know a lot of us, I know being happy was something that I struggled with for a long time because I was placing my happiness on other people's hands instead of when I was told you earlier that I was being a victim and I taking responsibility for myself. I wanted everybody else to make me happy because I wasn't doing that for myself. And when I started doing for myself, doing that for myself, and, a pre and being gra grateful for who I was, for the experiences that I have, ex you know, have encountered and been through in my life, that's when the self-love started to rise and my self-esteem, which brings us to benefit of gratitude number six. It increases our self-esteem. Um, so gratitude will help you feel better about your circumstances, which will help you feel better about yourself and your self-esteem. Kind of went a little bit on a tangent on that just a few minutes ago. So the more grateful I am, the more beauty I see. This is so true. This is a um, living experience to this. My clients have all experienced this. Gratitude is really life-changing and really magical. And it just changes everything when you can genuinely sit back and find those little things. And I know sometimes when we, we're going through difficult situations, 
it's hard for us to find something to be grateful for. But at that moment, just be grateful that you're alive. Be grateful that you, you're able to take your next breath because we don't know what's going to happen in the next moment. You know, we used to say, like, live your life day by day. That a lot of people say, live your life every day like it's your last day. I say, live your, live your life like every moment is your life. It's, it's your last moment because we don't know if the next moment is guaranteed. You may take your breath now, but we don't know what's going to happen in the next moment, in the next minute, the two, next two minutes. So we have to learn to be grateful in this moment. And the more, the more you do it, the easier it's going to be. And the more you see your life transforming. But at first, I know I've been there and I know sometimes life can be so hard and it, it's hard for us to focus on anything that's positive. But we can, when we can find at least two or three things and just stay focused on that, that list will start to grow and expand. Benefit of gratitude number seven, it reduced impatience and improved decision making. So those, um, those that are grateful are less likely to be impatient during economic decision making leading to better decisions and less pressure from the desire for short-term gratification. Um, when I was stressed out and in fight or flight mode and not being grateful for anything in my life, I couldn't have, you could have put a solution in front of me and I wouldn't have been able to see it. I would have looked at it right in the face and just gone around it because I was so focused on everything that was going wrong. And when I started this journey, I, everything in my life, I was perceiving as, as my marriage was falling apart, my career was falling apart, I was falling apart. And as I started doing gratitude and looking within and taking responsibility for myself, I realized that when I was coming from a place of gratitude, I had, I was, it's like I, the doors were open for me to be able to have access to more solutions. And so I wasn't looking for short-term gratification. I was looking for long-term um, decisions, stuff that was going to help my life in the long term. And that really transformed everything, how my life turned out and the ways that things change for me. So this is really important. And then I always like to have a little bonus. So bonus, bonus, bonus. It's gratitude practice. And gratitude journaling is huge. I mentioned that earlier a little bit about you can just, you know, write off whatever comes from the top of your head, or you can just do three to five things that you're grateful for every morning, every night. I say there's magic to pen and paper. If you can sit down and write them down, do that. So you can get into the habit of being grateful for things, three to five things. It'll take you two or three minutes, three to five things to be grateful for every morning, every night. If you don't have the time to write them down, then say them, say them as you're driving, say them as you're taking a shower, say them as you're making your coffee. So most of the time we're on autopilot and the things that we're repeating in our minds are the things that we're, we're, that we're afraid of and that we don't even want to manifest. So this will bring awareness into your day and bring you mindfulness because you'll be focusing on the things that you're grateful for. Tip number two is a gratitude rock. Um, this was a really, I love gratitude rock. So I have a, a, a rock that I keep by my bedside and it says joy. Um, oh gosh, I would show it to you guys, but I don't have it with me right now. Um, and I love, I was given this years ago and I just had it laying around doing nothing. And now I have it on my nightstand and every night before I go to bed, I hold it and I, I count my day backwards, right? This is so much fun to do guys. You want to do this. So I would start off like from my bedtime, I'll go to bed and I'm like, thank you for a great night with the kids. Thank you for the movie I watched. Thank you for dinner. So I play my day from night to morning and I just find those things that I'm really grateful for, right? Thank you for dinner. Thank you for lunch. Thank you for that great meeting. Thank you for that amazing coaching session and that breakthrough that we had in our coaching session. You know, thank you for, you know, my kids telling me I love you and whatever that is. Or um, so I would do that with our gratitude rock at night. And then I keep it. I have another one around my desk or somewhere where I can see it every time so that when I see it, every, I made the choice that every time I see it, I'm going to say one thing that I'm grateful for. So if I look at the rock, I'm like, boom, thank you for dinner. Or thank you for whatever it is that I'm doing at that moment. Um, but this just to bring me to bring mindfulness. And then 
gratitude and forgiveness. Um, this is something that I um, like, I have taught, I have done myself and I've had taught my clients to do this as well, is when we, when we can, when we are experiencing something that's challenging, finding the lesson and finding the blessing and being grateful for that. And I'm sure you guys have experienced this. There's so many times in our lives when we experience something and at the moment we don't, you know, we, we don't see the blessing. We can't see the lesson, but then you overcome it. You move forward. And then when you look back, you're like, wow, if that hadn't happened, X, Y, and Z, what hadn't happened? If I hadn't done this, this would have never happened. We can al almost always find a lesson or find a blessing or both. And so this is um, something that would be really helpful to you guys. And that's pretty much it for the training. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the training. Um, gratitude, if you, if you are not incorporating gratitude in your life, please start doing so. And it doesn't have to be something real lengthy. Like I said, morning, night, write three to five things. And if you can, if, if you can do more, even do more, but it will transform your energy, uplift your energy. And therefore the things that are going to be surrounding you are going to be neat, are going to be stuff that are going to meet you at that level. So thank you for being here. I hope you guys have enjoyed the training. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thank you, Armida. As always a wonderful present, wonderful presentation. Thank Steph, you. any questions or comments? No, don't think any any comments then. Okay. Uh, I'm going to come back. I'm going to pin you here. There we go. Uh, Armida, thank you. Have a wonderful long weekend. Enjoy the time with your family. And we'll see everybody back here next week. Awesome. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.